Fulton Sheriff disappears just four days after rumors spread of the full, uh, sheriff's discontent with Pennsylvania state intervention. He himself had disappeared without warning. While known for taking breaks in his spare time to vacation in the mountains, he would never leave Fulton at such a critical time. This is why many fear uh, the worst, believing that he has been murdered by the same person who killed those innocent tourists. While the many conspiracy inclined populists work to avoid opposition within the country, uh, no, sorry. While the, uh, while the more conspiracy-inclined populace in indicating to local media that it was the Commonwealth Police doing the dirty work to avoid opposition within the county. Whether either is true is currently unknown, but his disappearance certainly casts a dark cloud of, over Fulton. It could have been that he was the murderer all, all along, you know, and that he was running the investigation himself just so nobody can find anything. Protesters blame the government. Yes, disappearance. They are blaming the government for the abduction. Naturally, officials from Philadelphia have explicitly denied allegations. Yeah, they yeah, the great distress. I don't care. Still need to recover from everything. Don't really have the time to listen to your mumbo jumbo. It's one man. Sheriff's body found. The body of Col uh, Fulton County's sheriff has been found hanging from a roadside tree in Buchanan for State Forest, the very same forest that our killer's first victims were hacked to death and burnt in. The sheriff's son has refused to take any calls from local media, and the local town is clearly distraught upon hearing, uh, hearing of their beloved ch uh, chief murdered just days after he was last seen working in the county seat. Some who were protesting days ago against the government's supposed abduction seem to have changed their mind today, strongly believing that despite Philadelphia's injustices, it wouldn't do anything so inhumane to a fellow citizen, let alone a public servant like the county sheriff. Yay, we have a serial killer. Great. Oh, the uh, new divisions are here. Only three, though. We're still waiting for the fourth one. Actually, the police receive letter from the murderer. The McCon uh, the McConnellsburg Week uh, Weekly Gazette has released a copy of the letter sent to the local police by the apparent murderer of four tourists and the county sheriff. He or she claims to be in our midst, lurking and preying on their next victim. But the most terrifying part of all is that the fact that they have uh, already given themselves a serial killer identity. The supposed fire warden will be sending their signal to our citizens very soon according to the last letter, no matter what the police investigation manages to bring up. No, I don't have the political power. Great. Fulton descends into chaos. The Pennsylvania County of Fulton has descended into chaos after chilling letters were released to the local media, describing a brutal method of torture for victims of the mysterious fire warden. Some businesses in the county seat of McConnellsburg have already closed as owners move out in fear of being hacked to death and burnt, burnt by a killer in our midst, while the religious leaders speak of the coming of the Antichrist. For a recently deeply religious town, this could easily be the end of days for them, and not one scrap of evidence is yet to be found that brings police any closer to a suspect. Let's go. Gas station worker murdered. A gas station worker on the outskirts of McConnellsburg has been burned to death, with his head blackened, with his blackened body lying motionless in the middle of the equally dead road. Next to, the, uh, to his charred corpse, on the other side, or on the other hand, is either the killer's blood or his own, dripped in the shape of a certain symbol. It appears to represent the stylized version of the letters F and N W for Fire Warden, the country's terror's chosen title. When the news reached journalists from the acting sheriff and locals heard about it, all hell broke loose once again. Hold on. Let's just finish this quickly. Um, claims of satanic symbolism in the images released of the ominous symbol have spread outside the Fulton 
to neighboring counties, whose religious leaders are calling for calm during significant panic. Capital moved to New York. Key branches of the fire of the gates <laughs> government have been moved to New York, with both the legislative and executive sectors now calling the met metropolis their home. This comes as the president's uh, as the president declared this afternoon that Pen uh, Philadelphia will no longer remain the Commonwealth's capital, as it represented corruption, anarchism, and worst of all, possible tyranny that President Sanders could have established in that very city. It may take some time for the general populace to adjust to this change, but eventually they will come to accept that this is not just a symbolic change, but one of a common sense. Uh, New York is the heart of, the, of our industrial might, the cultural capital and birthplace of the modern American dream. Okay, so let's defend the urban areas. Let me just quickly check something over here. Oh yeah, I can still do the influence of Boston. <laughs> and get... Uh, yeah, Bernie Sanders resigns <laughs> governor. Oh, great. And Sanders meets communists. They could still do that. Yeah. And Sanders at the podium. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All oh, fine. I'm not going to do them, though. Why would I? <laughs> but yeah, oh, new sheriff working with state police. The new Fulton County Sheriff is apparently fully cooperating with the state police of the fire warden on the fire warden investigation, pulling together resources to pin down a list of suspects and hopefully catch the ruthless cold-hearted cold killer. <laughs> Unlike when his predecessor disappeared, the people of Fulton are now in full support of help arriving from Philadelphia, rejecting the conspiracy theorists' views that the state police had taken their beloved police sheriff away for torture or execution. State officials are naturally happy to hear this and have been more than willing to direct funds from the, from the capital to this small southern county in order to catch a serial killer at large. Oh my god, can we stop? Hold on. I need to answer a message. Yeah, this is your regular Atlas video. All right, double murder in Huntington County. Just north of Fulton is the normally peacefully peaceful county of Huntington. Uh, last night, police in the county uh, county seat reported a double murder just half an hour apart on the outskirts of Huntington's Hunting Sun. Huntington, Huntington, what? Huntington Borough? And according to these official reports, both charred bodies were displayed proudly alongside the ominous FW symbol on uh, to their left side. If the serial killer once confirmed to Fulton uh, is now at large in the neighboring areas, this could quickly become an issue with multiple counties involved. Oh, Eugene Debs Day, yay. Beautiful. We still need a year to get our political power in order. Oh yeah, and I don't think that some of these will help. Fire Warden becomes national story. Much of uh, much of the annoyance of both Fulton and Huntingdon Police officials, the fire warden has become a national story. Journalists from all over the country are reporting of a mysterious and elusive pyromaniac ser serial killer in rural Pennsylvania. And urban Americans are eating it up as the greatest story of the year. Unfortunately, this is more than likely what the fuck. Uh, more than likely, uh, ex exactly the kind of attention our killer seeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we in the midst of that, we now have a world war. Because these guys are at war with each other. Wonderful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Amazing. All I need is for the Soviets to take this down. That would just be glorious. And uh, our new divisions are here as well. 
Um, let's grab last defense. And Syria was finally puppeted. UAPR slowly reindustrializing and all that jazz. Syria now led by Farid Gadri. And there are puppets of Palestine, which is very weird. But it could have been worse. Buchanan Forest Burns. Site of the original murder of European tourists and later hanging of former Fulton County Sheriff, Buchanan Forest burnt for hours on end yesterday afternoon, trapping hikers inside. Despite official warnings to never enter the forest until all police investigations into previous murders were concluded, adventurous locals decided that there would be no harm in trekking through. Early in the afternoon, however, a small blaze quickly became a burning forest, engulfing Buchanan in less than two hours. Once state fire services managed to extinguish the blaze, ten bodies were found charred in a clearing. Mysteriously enough, the fire hadn't yet touched the clearing itself. Wonderful. Fire warden just setting Pennsylvania ablaze. All police branches launch manhunt. Commonwealth Police, State Police, and County Police have all launched a coordinate manhunt for the war, uh, fire warden serial killer, who it seems murdered 10 hikers four days ago in the Buchanan Forest Fire. Forensic investigators conclude that there was no way these charred remains were burned just by the engulfed trees, and the killer themselves uh, themself must have brought them to the tragic demise. Whatever the case, it has helped draw significant attention around the country country and now Philadelphia is greatly invested in funding an unprecedented manhunt. Luckily this doesn't give me negative political power. Yeah, they still haven't chosen the route. Okay, these guys are ready. Walking into Southern America is going to be a piece of piss when these guys are guarding the borders. Okay. No more fire warden murders. It's been almost an entire month since Commonwealth State and County Police launched a historic manhunt to bring down the at-large fire warden, and not a single murder has occurred in the entire state of Pennsylvania that could in any way be linked to the killer. People are beginning to suspect that they were themselves killed in the Buchanan fire after burning 10 victims to death. Or, yeah or possibly committed suicide not long after. Clearly, the fire warden was a deranged individual, so the latter suspicion is one uh, not devoid of reason. Perhaps the police branches should seize their manhunt in order to save funds from Philadelphia uh, for where it's now needed. No, th th I don't think that's actually smart. Either find his body, or don't stop at all. Because he's gonna strike again. Watch. I should probably build a few, uh, so hold on, uh, what do I need for this carrier? How do I check? 45 of which? Which planes? Doesn't say here. Uh, fighters? Let's see, we'll build a few fighters. Oh, Egypt declares war on the Libyan Union. That's uh, an interesting turn of events. That's gonna be a bloody fight. I'm I'm cheering for the Libyan Union. Though I don't think actually they have ooh, their industry is mighty large compared to uh compared to Egypt, but their army is not as much. Yeah, I need naval bombers.